Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's to your music lady Jessica Oyenichi. How are you all doing? I trust God you are fine. As for me and my family, we are doing good. As an African lady living here in Spain for two years, there's there's some culture that shocked me anytime I see it. So that is what I want to share with you guys here and this channel right now. Okay, and if you are new here, hello, you are highly welcome. Feel free to subscribe and also remember to turn on your notification bell. Select all for you to be notified anytime I upload a new video. Okay, so I'll be sharing with you guys most strange culture shock that I've experienced here in Spain. Okay, so without wasting much of your time, let's dive into the video. So, the first one is make sure you watch to the end okay for you to know the most shocking one that i've experienced here in spain okay okay the first one is female smoking okay i know back there in nigeria even men for you to smoke they normally hide themselves okay but here i've seen so many female smoking without fear without even seeing yourself so it's shocking to me because back there in Nigeria, for you to see a female girl smoking, I hardly see them. And if you want to see them, you go to the hotel and see them. And they all always hide themselves for smoking it. But here you see every female child, not every anyway, but most of them, as in they see it as a normal thing and they do smokes a lot. So I see it as a shock. It's shocked to me, okay, because I don't, they don't do that in my country, okay? Then number two is a kiss at the bar. Okay, what I mean by kiss at the bar, like when when me and my husband went to the bar to to last day, we saw a female uh, woman with a baby, and that baby is about because we asked her, she said the the child is two two days old, two days old at the bar. I was like. What could this baby be doing out here by this time at all? The fact that in my Nigeria, before a woman and a, a newborn baby comes out from the house, they must go for child dedication. And that child dedication used to take about three or four months. By that time, then you guys will not be coming out from anywhere you want to go, even to the market. You, know, you don't go to the market unless you, you don't have anyone to help you. You will have someone that will help you. They are the ones that will do it to you. dedicate that child to church, okay? But here, yeah, even that day, they give birth to the child, they, they go out with the child anywhere they want to go, even to the bar, to the beach, anywhere. It's shocking to me because it fast doesn't happen in my country. Okay, then the third one is touching habits. Hi, these people can touch as in, without them knowing you from nowhere. As far as they like what you are wearing or your makeup or your hairstyle, they will be touching you anyhow, they're telling you that they, they like it, they love it, how do you do it and all that. I, I will even show you guys the, some of the clips, the ones that I, I videoed to show you even when I went out with my newborn baby. Like all like like these old women, they love babies a lot, okay? When they see you with a newborn baby, they'll be touching your baby. Even this corona said they don't even mind. They'll be touching your baby and say, no, be um, wapo, wapo, all these things. They'll be touching you and all that. Sometimes you feel uncomfortable with it, but it's their habits because they love doing it. Unlike in my country, before you can touch anybody, that person must be a friend to you or um, your family or any other. Not that we don't touch you. We do touch, but not like here. They touch anyhow, okay? That is a shock to me because we don't do that in my country. Then the four, fourth one is wearing slippers at home. We were invited by a, a friend of my husband. We went there, I was pulling off my slippers and all that. My sandal that I went there with her were like, no, 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 I was like, what the hell? Everywhere is neat. You are not supposed to wear slippers. They wear slippers anywhere, even to their bedroom, to their kitchen. They do because I was watching the woman in the night. They were wearing it and walking up and down and up and the rest of it. So in Nigeria, we don't do that. Once you are in closed door to you, for you to enter, you remove the slippers or even uh, hold the slippers to go and keep it where it's supposed to be. But here, they don't do that. They wear slippers everywhere. So it's shocking to me. Because I don't experience that in my country. 
Number five is here it is very safe. What I mean by safe is very safe. You can go out anytime you want. You can come in, you can even at one o'clock, two o'clock, you can go anywhere that you want to go. And you will not be getting scared or feeling like maybe something will happen to you or here or there. Unlike my country, immediately it is eight. That's You'll be afraid, you'll be running like a madman for you to get where you are going because if anything happens to you, you'll be blamed because it seems like by that age you're supposed to be at home or here and there, okay? I guess if you don't know, I'm from Africa, okay, Nigeria, woman. So those things doesn't happen, okay? But here, safe everywhere, light everywhere. You cannot you can be safe to the coin, okay? You can go anywhere you want to go, even by one, by two, you are safe to go and be free to go without you saying that something might happen to you and all that so it's strange to me because in my country that doesn't happen okay that is to say tell you that say is their second name then number five is their five culture shock to me here in spain is kissing habits hmm. these people can kiss like i don't even know what to compare them with they can kiss eh? even in church, even in church where we worship our God, they kiss them. Everywhere they can kiss in the bar, everywhere, kiss, kiss, everywhere. Unlike in Nigeria, even for you to kiss your husband, your own husband, you'll be shy and all that. Um, they say, they, uh, let them not see you as a spoiled child and all that. But here, they kiss, 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 everywhere they kiss and they don't see it as anything, they see it as habit. Where and um, how to show their love to you and all that. Even this, uh, their greetings, um, kiss is a shocking to me because the first time a white woman greeted me like that, I don't even know what I'm doing because it's my first time of seeing it. She was kissing me, my cheeks and the other cheeks, but I don't even know what she's doing because I've never done something like that before. So it's shocking to me. So they can kiss anywhere they want and nothing will happen, unlike where I'm coming from. Okay, you hardly kiss you partner outside but now i can kiss you there's no shine in my eyes again so guys thank you guys for that okay i can kiss my husband anywhere i want to kiss him without being shy okay even if i go back to nigeria i will still be doing it because it seems like a habit now okay thank you guys so much for that i love that culture okay then number six culture shock to me here in spain is parties it never ends okay they love parties a lot Unlike Nigeria, maybe parties start by eight and end by two or four by eight or by one. Here, there's nothing like that, okay? Parties start and no ends for the party. They parties a lot and all that, and they like drinking, okay? You know, Spain here is one of the best countries that have a good wine and all that. So, they are the one producing it and they love drinking it, okay? They like showcasing themselves and they enjoying life and all that. So their parties never end. So you want to, if you want to go to a party where yeah, it doesn't end, come to here in Spain, okay? They don't know what is end when party is going on, okay? So number seven cause shock is what? Pregnant woman getting tested to know whether she can be able to eat meat or not. I was shocked when they asked me to go for that text. I was like, what the hell? In my country, because I gave birth to my first daughter in my country before moving here in Spain. When I was that, when I was pregnant for her, there's nothing like that. Okay? They don't even test me for any food for me not to eat and all that. You can eat anything you want to eat. But here in Spain, they ask for it for me to go and check whether I'm able to be taking meat in the pregnancy or not. So it's shocking to me because in my country, that doesn't happen okay then number eight culture i don't know i am i don't even know what i'm counting again but just be counting it with me okay the next one in my list is what siesta time siesta was like what's that by one here in spain by one to four is the siesta time that is three hours they will close their shop and go for siesta I was like, what's that? Are you a baby? How can you be going for a, 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 a snap? What, how can you be going for siesta? But in Nigeria, that doesn't happen. Even by that time, one to three is the time for you to be in business, okay? For you to be looking customers and all that. 
there's nothing like siesta time in Nigeria. Even if you allow ourselves, we'll be, we'll be doing our business um, the, as I'm from uh, 1 a.m. to 12 a.m. So we doesn't joke with our business and all that. We don't even take care of ourselves by going for CSR and all that. But here, they doesn't joke with it. Even if you come um, 12 um, a minute to 1, they cannot even attend to you because they don't joke with it. It's a shocking to me, my dear, because we don't do that in my country. The most shocking, the most shocking culture shock here in Spain to me is I don't even know how to say it so that YouTube will not even uh, take down this video because they don't like to mention such a thing. Okay, female goes. I don't know how to say it, but I know that you people understand what I'm saying. People, they are, they are, they are up. Their goes up, topless and downless. I know you guys understand what I'm, I'm saying. At the beach, they goes upless and downless at the beach. I was like, what the hell? The first time I see it, my husband was like, you've not even seen anything that summer are just resuming, that we are just entering into summer. By the time we will not enter finish, that means you don't even know what you are saying again. You know, you will even see it as nothing. But I was like, how can a female go upless and downless? I don't know whether you guys understand the English, but you know what I'm doing, saying upless and downless at the beach. I was like, what's this? Sometimes I even close my eyes and all that. But they see it as nothing. They see it as, as a, nothing is there. It's their life. They can live it the way they want. How can a male be doing that? Why can't they? So I was like, even some people that their um, breasts are not more good to be showcasing and all that, they don't even care. So it's a shock to me, unlike in my Nigeria, even for you to hear this kind of a thing as a married woman, they'll be seeing you as a, you are, you've spoiled, you are a spoiled child. Even for you to hear simply go downstairs to buy something down to the street and all that, they'll be seeing you as a spoiled child, even to be a born shot as a married woman. It's not even allowed in Christian's homes, talk more of you, we are in nothing at all. To go to the beach or to be there in the beach so they don't allow that in my country but here they see it as normal routine nothing is there they can do whatever they like to do besides the, the song here is quite unbearable okay so why can't they go to the beach and be you understand what i'm saying at the beach so it's shocking to me and they don't see it as nothing but to me it's something because I'm not going to do that even my husband will not even allow even if I want my husband will not even allow me to do it because it's not in our country so guys for that we've come to the end of today's video okay if you are in Spain and there are some culture shock that I did not see please drop it in the comment section or is it the same with your country where you are are those things that are listed done the way they are here in spain okay and if you do enjoy my video please give it a thumbs up okay and let me know what you think in the comment section so that i can do the part two of it if you do enjoy this video please remember to subscribe if you haven't until i see you again in my next video remember this and know that jesus loves you okay bye bye